the ultimate Mike Menser workout and diet. The heavy-duty training routine. Mike Menser was a golden era bodybuilder famed for his usage of the heavy-duty training system that helped him add muscle mass and compete with some of the greatest bodybuilders of that time, even clashing with Arnold Schwarzenegger at the 1980 Mr. Olympia contest. This heavy-duty training system utilized high-intensity training, which Menser had adopted from Arthur Jones and transformed into his own heavy-duty system. Under Menser's new system, reps got lower, weights got heavier, and the sets got much harder, seriously forcing the body to grow and adapt. Over 40 years later, Menser's training is resurfacing and becoming popular again amongst younger gym goers. So, what exactly did the Mike Menser workout look like Mike Menser's workout philosophy? While Arthur Jones' workout philosophy advocated for one set of 20 reps per exercise, Mike Menser's take on this workout style concluded that the ideal range was 6 to 8 reps for each set. However, on the last rep you would be reaching absolute muscular failure, meaning you could not complete another rep with a full range of motion, and it did not stop there. Mike Menser's workout involved going beyond failure a philosophy also adopted by Tom Platts, utilizing forced reps, negative reps, rest pause, and pre-exhaust supersets. What do these terms mean? Term Forced representatives a spotter helps to move the weight for additional reps negative representatives a spotter helps on the positive halves of reps, the the lifter slowly lowers the weight for about 6 seconds. Rest pause After hitting failure, rest for 15 seconds then perform another rep menser would repeat that process for 4 to 6 more reps pre-exhaust supersets. Do a set of an isolation exercise before a set of a compound exercise for the same body part without resting. It is important to note that Mike Menser would work out with at least one training partner each session who would spot him and help assist him when he reached failure. Upon reaching failure, Menser would use forced reps, which is where his spotter came in and helped so he could complete those reps usually. Menser's partner was his brother, Ray, who won the 1979 Mr. America. Mike and Ray Menser Another key part of Mike Menser's workout is the low volume. That s right, the high intensity workout routine was not high volume at all, as it was argued that if you actually trained with high intensity that you would not need high volume, and it clearly worked for Mike. Mike Menser's workout only 3 to 6 working sets per body part supersets counted as 2 sets, and typically only 1 to 2 warm up sets with lighter weight. Another thing about Mike Menser's workout that may shock you is the frequency of training, he only trained 3 days per week. The heavy duty workout called for training body parts twice every 8 to 9 days, while most bodybuilders will work each muscle group twice every 5 to 7 days. Menser wrote for the people that were skeptical of the low volume, your subconscious child is telling you that more is better. In some cases, that s true. More money is better than less. But you can't take that principle and blindly apply it to exercise and expect to get anything out of it. Mike Menser's Workout Routine Now that you have seen the training philosophy, let us take a look at Mike Menser's actual workout routine. Menser split up his workout into two workouts, Workout A and Workout B. Let us take a look at each. Workout A Legs, Chest, and Triceps. Leg Extension Superset with Leg Press. Two sets of each. 6 to 8 Squat. One set 6 to 8 Rep Leg Curl. Two set 6 to 8 Rep Standing Calf Raise. Two set 6 to 8 Rep Calf Press. One set 6 to 8 Rep Dumbbell Fly or Pec Deck. Two set 6 to 8 Rep Incline Barbell Press. Two set 6 to 8 Rep Dips. 2 set 6 to 8 rep push down superset with dips again. 1 set of each. 6 to 8 lying triceps extension. 2 set 6 to 8 rep workout B back, traps, shoulders, biceps. 
machine pullover SS with close grip underhand pull down. Two of each 6 to 8 rep barbell row. Two set 6 to 8 rep machine shrug SS with upright row. Two sets of each. 6 to 8 side lateral raises SS with machine shoulder press. Two sets of each. 6 to 8 dumbbell or machine rear lateral. Two set 6 to 8 rep standing barbell curl. One set 6 to 8 rep dumbbell concentration curl. Two set 6 8 rep though it may not look like much, Menser trained to absolutely brutalize each muscle that he trained. The heavy duty training method meant leaving the gym with absolutely nothing left in the tank, meaning the muscle could not endure any more stress. Did anyone else use Menser S workout? Mike Menser was a phenomenon, even winning the heavyweight division of the 1979 Mr. Olympia Frank Zane won the overall. But in 1980, Menser released two heavy duty booklets detailing his training, and through his seminars, articles, and other forms of exposure, his training philosophy was becoming widely popular. Other bodybuilders began training like Mike Menser but eventually returned to a more moderate training model. Then came the 1980 Olympia, where Menser placed a controversial fifth place, and retired after this. Sadly, Mike Menser passed away in 2001 at the age of 49, but not without leaving behind a legacy. Perhaps you have heard of Dorian Yates, a 6x Mr. Olympia winner, also considered to be the original mass monster. Yates changed the game of bodybuilding with the size he brought. As far as his training, Dorian Yates followed the workouts of none other than Mike Menser. Yates had trained with far less frequency, and much more intensity. Mike Menser and Dorian Yates To this day, the Mike Menser workout is followed by gym goers across the world. Training Tips Mike Menser followed a strict set of rules that he followed and did not stray from. Let us take a look at what those are. Divide the body. Menser advocated for dividing your body parts into two workouts, and to allow for 48 hours in between each training session. For example, if you do workout A on Monday, do workout B on Wednesday, then workout A on Friday and so on. This allows for adequate recovery time, so you will be able to feel refreshed for the next training session. Follow the push-pull system. To maximize recovery, workouts should follow the push-pull system. But, since Menser divided his body into two separate workouts, he included legs on push day and shoulders on pull day. Sets and Reps Always do 1 to 3 warm up sets before the working sets, and the last warm up set should be about 75% of your working weight. For the working sets, go to full rep failure in the 6 to 8 rep range, and try to grow stronger in this range. Utilize things like pre exhaust supersets, such as flies immediately before incline presses. Form and failure. When following the Mike Menser workout, Always maintain proper form. Proper form ensures you are hitting the desired muscle, and decreases your risk of injury. Take your sets beyond failure, using forced reps, negatives, and rest pause. The Menser Diet Now, for a workout routine this intense, what exactly was Mike Menser eating throughout this time period let us take a look. Oatmeal Oats are a great source of complex carbs, and that makes them a good source of energy. They also will keep you fuller for longer, which is great for getting through the grueling Mike Menser workout. Eggs, eggs are a great and easy source of protein, and don't take up too much space in the fridge. There are many different ways to make them as well. Chicken breast, perhaps the most common of bodybuilding foods, Chicken breast is high in protein, low in fat, and has no carbs. It is also versatile, you can use it in a wide range of dishes, from stir fries to curries or salads. Fish salmon and tuna, fish contains omega-3 fatty acids, 
which are known for doing things such as reducing inflammation, improving brain function, and lowering the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Fruits, Mike Menser himself recommended eating various fruits every day, such as apples, oranges, grapes, strawberries, apricots, blueberries, and bananas. Lentils red or green, greens are packed full of fiber which means they help keep you fuller for longer, but also help with a healthy digestive system. Vegetables, some of Mike Menser's favorite vegetables consisted of broccoli, green beans, zucchini squash, spinach, and onions. Juice, no, not the anabolic juice. Mike Menser drank different juices, including orange and grape juice, combined with a protein shake. You also need to drink plenty of water to flush everything throughout your system, Mike Menser wrap up. Overall, Mike Menser's workouts were far different than most modern bodybuilders. Many times you will see bodybuilders doing far more frequency and volume, but not Mike Menser. Instead he followed a high-intensity training routine, where he would absolutely brutalize the muscle groups with low volume, heavy sets, and only train three times per week. Do you agree with Mike Menser's training routine?